Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today, let us explore what AWS Glue Notebook are. So before we talk about Glue Notebook, let us talk about how do we typically go ahead and create the ETL jobs using Glue. I'm on the AWS console, uh, navigating to the AWS Glue. Under ETL jobs, we have different options for us to author or create the job. Most of these options like uh, visual with a source and target or visual with a blank canvas or spark script editor or Python cell script editor will how to create a script. And when you run it, the entire script is going to run. In case if we make any changes to it, we'll not be able to run the piece of code where we made a change and look at the output. So that's not possible. So how do we do more of an interactive program with the AWS Glue ATL? The answer comes with AWS Glue Notebooks. So what are AWS Glue Notebooks? By using these notebooks, we'll be able to author or create the AWS Glue jobs interactively. These notebooks are based on Jupyter Notebook. With this, we'll be able to edit the piece of code, run it, and we'll be able to validate the output then and there. That's a key purpose of having the AWS Glue notebooks. And we'll be able to save this notebook and use it for further updates. And once we are done with all the updates and finalize the script, we can go ahead and convert the notebook script into a Glue ETL scripts by click of a button. And this does not need any explicit installation of the Jupyter Notebook. It comes with the Glue Notebook service by default. And it provides the same runtime or platform as AWS Glue job. So when you convert the script from the uh, notebook into an AWS Glue job script, it is going to run seamlessly. So let us see AWS Glue Notebook in action. So for this demo, there are a couple of prerequisites. First going to be the uh, source file, uh, which is present in S3. We will be reading the CSC file and write the output as a parquet to another folder, the output under cold data. And second, we need to have the IAM role which has access to the source and target folders of the S3. And third, we need to have the Glue Notebook instance running, right? Let's go ahead and create the Glue Notebook instance. I'm on AWS console, uh, navigating to AWS Glue. From the data integration and ETL section, we'll be able to see the notebook. Click on it. So click on Jupyter Notebook here and hit create. Give a name. Let's say I'm going to name this as sales notebook job. IAM role is already created for me. I'm not going to do it again for this demo. Okay. And kernel, we only have got Spark and Ray, we are not talking about Ray to date, so go ahead and select Spark and start notebook. So this may take a couple of moments. I'm going to pass the notebook and we'll resume once it's done. Okay, the notebook has been created. So it comes with some of the pre-populated script to begin with. We are not going to use the script for our demo. We'll have our own script to check this. Okay, so this piece of script, which defines the idle timeout for the job and then the glue version and the worker type, uh, by default, we go with v.1x. But in case if we want a uh, you know, better worker type, we can go ahead and update it to you know, g2 or g4, etc. And the number of workers. By default, we need to have two. And there are some import statements. Uh, on here we are going to initialize the spot context, right? So once you run this snippet, it's going to start the interactive session. Let's hit run. 
okay it says waiting for the session and it gives the session id now let's navigate to the glue console and look at whether this interactive session is getting created okay we are on glue console and under data integration and etl click on the interactive sessions yeah here we go this interactive session is getting provisioned so let's wait for a couple of moments until this interactive session becomes active okay the interactive session has been created successfully we will be able to run our regular data read and uh, write operations as a next step let us go ahead and read the csv file from our s3 bucket so here is the snippet of code for that so what it does uh, it defines the uh, create dynamic frame from options uh, and we are reading a csv file from this particular path go ahead and hit run okay it's done um so interactively we'll be able to look at the uh, schema and sample data etc for example i wanted to look at the uh, data right show now here we go i'm able to see the sample data so next step let's say i want to see the um, schema of this dynamic frame great so these interactive operations either to show the sample data or to show the schema of a dynamic frame would have not been possible in the regular glue etl job as a next step let us go ahead and uh, write this dynamic frame into an s3 uh, target before that let's go ahead and make sure there is no data in our target yeah there is no data this folder is empty now we will run a snippet to write the output okay here is a snippet to write the uh, dynamic frame into s3 so we have connection type is s3 and format we wanted to write it in the parquet format and where we want to write it in this path let me just do a quick rename of this fail underscore parquet it run okay this piece of code is done let's navigate to our s3 folder and see whether the files are created here we go sales parquet is created under which we have one part file all right now let's take a look at uh, how do we create the script out of this notebook right so next to notebook we have a script tab click on it so it basically provides you the uh, glue script uh, which we can use it in our etl glue job for our scheduling purpose so in case if you have you know more nodes wherein you are reading the data from multiple sources and then you have multiple transformations to be applied on top of that and then you want to write it to a target so you'll be able to test the individual functionalities one by one and then combine the entire functionality into the single script and then create an glue etl job so that your glue etl job is going to run very first time without having to go back and forth and fixing the issues by running the entire job multiple times hope you got an idea of what aws glue notebook are and where we can use them so thanks for watching we will get connected in another interesting video. Thank you.